what's going on everyone what's up so today i'm in the kitchen and today i'm going to make for you jamaican addo bread here i have um some yeast in this um jug i have one and a half tablespoon of yeast so i'm going to pour some lukewarm water like three ounces of lukewarm water on it that i had my lukewarm water three ounces on my yeast i'm going to mix it out and that helps to activate the, the yeast for like 15 minutes so you're going to mix it out so you don't see anything leave so i'm going to mix it out properly so you don't see any traces of yeast inside it so this is how it's supposed to look so now i'm going to save three cups of all-purpose flour into my bowl I'm going to add two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to mix in everything, incorporate everything. my yeast is ready it's like 15 minutes i'm gonna pour some um almond milk so i'm gonna pour it in so i should have like nine ounces so now i'm gonna pour the mixture in my flour my dough is ready i'm gonna clean the pan with it So now I'm going to spray my pan with some um, vegetable oil. You can use your, your, the same butter and you can use your oil. So I'm going to spray the pan. So I place it in and I'm going to spray the top of the dough. I'm going to flip it over, spray the next side. So now that my dough is finished, I'm going to leave it for one hour to proof. Okay guys, it's about that time. It's one hour. So as you can see, it's bigger in size. So I'm going to deflate it. I'm going to flatten it out. I'm going to sprinkle some flour. I'm going to put some on the surface. I'm going to roll it into a ball. So as you can see, I roll it into a ball. And this. So now that I got it into a ball, this part here that is going to be the bottom of the bread. So I'm going to flip it over. So now that I got it into a ball, I'm going to put my hand here from the center in and we're going to roll it up. So now that it's flat, I'm going to put it in my pan. So I'm going to grease my pan. So now that I spray my pan, I'm going to put a little dab of flour. I'm going to dab it around. So now I put my bread in and I'm going to make sure that it's fold in all four corners. So now I'm going to cover it again and leave it to proof for another 10 to 20 minutes okay guys it's after 20 minutes and as you can see it's bigger in size so I'm gonna pour a little of the almond milk so I'm gonna dab it on top so we can get that nice color and look on top So 
so i'm gonna put it in the oven now my oven has already preheated for 350 degrees fahrenheit and then i'm gonna bake it for 25 to 30 minutes guys it's now 20 minutes so i'm gonna put a little bit more of the almond milk on top to give it a little more color oh my god this looks so good and i'm gonna pop it back in the oven for the next 10 minutes guys that's the result of my jamaican outdoor bread so i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it out of the pan and i'm gonna slice it and let you guys see oh my god i'm so excited look at that guys look at this oh my god this is my first time making auto bread and it turned out so good oh my god and the smell oh. i'm gonna cut into my bread it's a little bit hot so but i'm still gonna cut it oh my god oh my god look at this oh my god all i need is some butter in that okay guys so that's the final product of my jamaican outdoor bread look at that so all i want you guys to do is just like this video share this video comment down below and tell me what you think about my outdoor bread and don't forget to hit that bell so you know each time i upload a video so bye guys until next time peace out